Light Beauty Care products. And today I am testing soap to see if it's lye free. What I'm going to be using to test the soap with is a solution that's called philonepaline. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make some lather here. And as you can see, it lathers up really good. Now the soap that I'm using right here, this soap is called, this is a coffee soap. It's an effoliant soap and it works really good. It has poppy seeds inside and it's really good on the skin to take the dead skin off. You can use it on the back of your hands, you can use it on your face. I use it on my body as well. It just works really good. But you only want to probably use this particular soap once a week because it is kind of abrasive. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and test it with some philonopoline. Now, if this soap turns hot pink or pink or red, then it's not ready. Now, this soap is, this particular soap here has sit over six weeks, so it should be ready. So I'm going to go ahead and test it and see. And as you can see, there's no pink or red. Okay, so that's ready. Okay, so now I'm going to test black activated charcoal soap. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lather it up. This, this soap here, this is a black activated charcoal soap and it works amazing. It uh, pulls the impurities out of your skin, it detox your skin, and it smells really good. I believe it has tea tree and peppermint in it, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, since this soap is so dark, I'm going to go ahead and make some lather in my hand. And as you can see, it lathers up really good as well. I would recommend using a dark uh, washcloth because it will have some charcoal stains on it. Or you can just wash your, wash your face and then just wash it off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and since that soap is dark, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my hands here and see if it's ready. And it's ready. Oh, there's paint coming off of that one. So let's just see what's going on here. Oh, okay. It's the pH balance, it's the water maybe. Hmm. Sometimes the water has different chemicals in it and, and it makes that make that react. Okay, the next soap that I'm going to use here, this is a little sample bar of uh, sunflower. So I'm going to go ahead and make a nice lather. And all my soaps lather up really good because I use a lot of nice ingredients, nice properties that give it a nice lather. As you can see, it has a lot of nice big bubbles to it. And this one again is sunflower. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to go ahead and test it on the bar there. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, there is no, there is no pink, there is no red, so that soap is ready. So I'm going to show you, it rinses off kind of a pink because of the, probably the solution in the water there. Probably should have used a distilled water just to see, make sure. Okay, so the next one I'm going to use, oh. Uh, is the cashmere and cotton. Now the cashmere and cotton still needs about two more weeks, but I'm just gonna go ahead and test it so you can see. Uh -oh, don't go down on that drain here. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. This has a really nice clean smell, and my, my customers love this one. And as you can see, it has a lot of nice bubbles to it there. Okay, so this soap is light enough that I can go ahead and test it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and test it. And as you can see, it still needs more time. You can, still, you can see the hot pink color there. That means it still has lye. I mean, I wash my hands with it. It's not that bad. But you don't want to use it until the full curing process is done. Okay, so I just want to make this video short just to kind of show you how I test my soap. None of my soaps go out the door unless they've been tested for lye and make sure the lye is completely out of it. Now when I do a hot process soap, I use a cook the lye right out. But the difference between the hot process soap and the cold process soap, this is, these are actually cold process soaps. The difference is when you use hot process soap like the crock pot, you're going to cook the lye completely out. But you're not going to get a nice smooth bar. And the bars are not as firm and hard as a cold process soap bar. So that's the difference. Some people like hot, some like it cold, hot and cold. I like both. It just depends. But I really like the smoothness of the cold process. So, okay, thank you. I guess that's it. All right, have an awesome and a blessed day now. Bye now.